Hi everyone, welcome to PCB Coffee Talk. I am Tara Dunn with Omni PCB. And I'm Elizabeth Foradori with Omni PWB. During our sessions, Elizabeth and I focus on things related to printed circuit board manufacturing. Today we'll be chatting about flexible circuit coverlay options. Coverlay is applied to the outside layers of the flexible circuit to insulate the copper conductors. And this is similar to solder mask being applied to rigid PCBs, but the products used are designed for flexibility. And there are two primary types of coverlay, a polyimid film adhesive combination and liquid photoimageable coverlay. The polyimid film adhesive combination is slightly more expensive, but it is considered the most reliable for dynamic flex applications. And both the adhesive and the polyimid film are supplied in a variety of thicknesses to accommodate anything from an ultra-thin application to thicker copper applications. But the most common combination for coverlay is a 1 mil adhesive with 1 or 2 mil polyimid. And coverlay openings are typically drilled 10 mils larger than the copper pads, but if there's not room in the design to accommodate this, the coverlay can be gang opened. In this case, the coverlay opening would be drilled to expose a group of pads. This leaves no insulation between the pads, but does allow the use of the polyimid film-based coverlay rather than the flexible liquid photoimageable solder mask. The other choice being liquid photoimageable solder mask, and as with rigid boards, liquid photoimageable solder mask, or LPI, is produced by a photo-controlled process and used to achieve very tight pad spaces where possibly a coverlay might not be appropriate. Where there are unique openings, and they can be anywhere on the circuit, LPI typically is limited to applications with traces of not more than two ounce copper to ensure conformity to the copper features. LPI openings should be a minimum of three mils larger than the copper pads with three mil minimum web spacing. LPI is not typically recommended for dynamic flex applications. Thank you so much for joining us for PCB Coffee Talk. Please contact us with any questions or for more additional information. We hope you'll join us again in the near future for our next Coffee Talk session.